Let us discuss Java, exception handling, interview questions and their answers. What is the difference between checked and unchecked exceptions? In general, unchecked exceptions represent defects in the program, bugs, which are normally runtime exceptions. Furthermore, checked exceptions represent invalid conditions in areas outside the immediate control of the program. Explain checked exceptions and unchecked exceptions with examples. Unchecked exceptions represent defects in the program, bugs, often invalid arguments passed to a non-private method. To quote from the Java programming language, by Gosling, Arnold, and Holmes, unchecked runtime exceptions represent conditions that, generally speaking, reflect errors in your program's logic and cannot be reasonably recovered from at runtime. These are subclasses of runtime exception, and are usually implemented using illegal argument exception, null pointer exception, or illegal state exception. This method is not obliged to establish a policy for the unchecked exceptions thrown by its implementation, and they almost always do not do so. Checked exceptions represent invalid conditions in areas outside the immediate control of the program, invalid user input, database problems, network outages, absent files, these are subclasses of exception. This method is obliged to establish a policy for all checked exceptions thrown by its implementation, either pass the checked exception further up the stack, or handle it somehow. It is somewhat confusing, but note as well that runtime exception, unchecked, is itself a subclass of exception, checked. Example 1 Model objects are the data-centric classes used to represent items in a particular domain. Model object constructors need to handle both arbitrary user input, and input from underlying database result sets. Model object constructors should throw checked exceptions, the program may have no direct control over user input. This is particularly true in web applications. It seems safest for a model object to treat user input as having arbitrary, unvalidated content. It is not safe for an application to make any assumptions about the state of the database. The database is an independent entity, and its data may be changed by various means, outside of any particular application. For example, data load tools are commonly used to create an initial state for a new database. Such data can easily violate the constraints built into a calling application. Thus, the safest assumption is to treat database result sets as having arbitrary, unvalidated content. Example 2 UGS is a convenient utility class. It performs common validations on method arguments. If a validation fails, then it throws an unchecked exception. It is suitable for checking the internal consistency of program, but not for checking arbitrary user input. What are the differences between checked and unchecked exceptions? A checked exception is any subclass of exception, or exception itself, excluding class runtime exception and its subclasses. Making an exception checked forces client programmers to deal with the possibility that the exception will be thrown. E.g., I.O. exception thrown by java.io. File input streams read method. Unchecked exceptions are runtime exception and any of its subclasses. Class error and its subclasses also are unchecked. With an unchecked exception, however, the compiler doesn't force client programmers either to catch the exception or declare it in a throws clause. In fact, client programmers may not even know that the exception could be thrown. E.g., string index out of bounds exception thrown by strings char at method. Checked exceptions must be caught at compile time. Runtime exceptions do not need to be. Errors often cannot be, as they tend to be unrecoverable. Can an exception be rethrown? Yes. An exception can be rethrown. What is the purpose of the finally clause of a try catch finally statement? The finally clause is used to provide the capability to execute code no matter whether or not an exception is thrown or caught. What is final? Finalize and finally. Final, final keyword can be used for class, method, and variables. A final class cannot be subclassed and it prevents other programmers from subclassing a secure class to invoke insecure methods. A final method can't be overridden. A final variable can't change from its initialized value. Finalize. Finalize method is used just before an object is destroyed and can be called just prior to garbage collection. Finally, 
Finally, a keyword used in exception handling creates a block of code that will be executed after a try slash catch block has completed and before the code following the try slash catch block. The finally block will execute whether or not an exception is thrown. For example, if a method opens a file upon exit, then you will not want the code that closes the file to be bypassed by the exception handling mechanism. This finally keyword is designed to address this contingency. What is out of memory error in Java? How to deal with java.lang.outofmemory error error? This error is thrown when the Java virtual machine cannot allocate an object because it is out of memory, and no more memory could be made available by the garbage collector. Note, it's an error, extends java.lang.error, not exception. Two important types of out of memory error are often encountered. Lang.outofmemory error, Java heap space. The quick solution is to add these flags to JVM command line when Java runtime is started. XMS 1024M XMX 1024M. Lang. Out of memory error, permgen space. The solution is to add these flags to JVM command line when Java runtime is started. 20 colon plus CMS class unloading enabled. 20 colon plus CMS permgen sweeping enabled. Long term solution. Increasing the start slash max heap size or changing garbage collection options may not always be a long-term solution for your out-of-memory error problem. Best approach is to understand the memory needs of your program and ensure it uses memory wisely and does not have leaks. You can use a Java memory profiler to determine what methods in your program are allocating a large number of objects and then determine if there is a way to make sure they are no longer referenced or to not allocate them in the first place. Which arithmetic operations can result in the throwing of an arithmetic exception integer, and percent can result in the throwing of an arithmetic exception. What is the use of the finally block? Is finally block in Java guaranteed to be called? When finally block is not called? Finally is the block of code that executes always. The code in finally block will execute even if an exception is occurred. Finally block is not called in following conditions. 1. If the JVM exits while the try or catch code is being executed, then the finally block may not execute. This may happen due to system.exit call. 2. If the thread executing the try or catch code is interrupted or killed, the finally block may not execute even though the application as a whole continues. 3. If a exception is thrown in finally block and not handled then remaining code in finally block may not be executed. What classes of exceptions may be thrown by a throw statement? A throw statement may throw any expression that may be assigned to the throwable type. Thanks for watching this video. Subscribe to our channel and press bell icon to get notifications for latest videos.